Hello, everybody! Welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead on the desert. It was a nice day today. Got a few sky riders up there leaving their trails, and uh, it was uh, fairly warm. Not uh, not really too warm, not too cold. Just a nice one, and just the slightest breeze, just barely moving the turbine up there. So, today I decided that it was going to be a good day to get into the battery room and disconnect those two old lead acids and replace it with a LiPo 4. That's the Seacon 12.8 by 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hours. And what's that do? Well, the only thing that runs is the lighting in my cabin. Just the lighting in the cabin. The lighting in my shops and garage and all of that are all 120 volts. Um, that one's just going to just handle the lighting in the cabin. So I'll have plenty of power all the time without having to worry about it. Right now, fully charged. So they've been charging all day long here and getting their thing together. Uh, see right here on the midnight, I'm at 79.5 volts cups coming in and 273 watts. I've got stored 4.5 kilowatts of power and it's running bulk right now. So that's powering those four and that one right there. That watt, watt cycle, 200 amp hour, I like that battery. It's a a nice battery it's almost the same size as these 230 amp so I figure why not I'll put it in there and I'm only supposed to do four in parallel and uh, I did five in parallel just to see what was going to happen and it seems to work just fine like that so anyway I still have power coming in on some Harbor Freight solar panels and I also have power coming in on my wind turbine so the wind turbine, of course, isn't making any power right now because it's just barely turning out there. But uh, I have those hooked up to that um, sealed lead acid Optima down there. Now these, I checked the, the, the power on them and uh, they're, they're fully charged. There's nothing wrong with those two batteries. They're fully charged. Uh, I don't know. Um... I hate to recycle good batteries, but maybe uh, uh, one of my neighbors who's on lead acid would like to have a, a set of 470 amp hour 12 volt lead acid batteries. Yeah, they're not new, but they, they're carrying their charge. They're doing their thing. I just need to get the lead acid out of here, so I don't know. Um, the poor guy down the, the way that I'm going to be doing the solar for doesn't have any power right now except for his, uh, well, he does. He has a, um, a little inverter that he hooks up to his um, wife's car, and uh, she's passed away. So he hooks up to her car, and, uh, and when he need, needs it, he starts the car up and lets it run, and he gets some power in the house for charging cell phones and things like that. Um yeah, that uh, that gets him. But he also has a um, a gas powered generator, so when he needs to run some other things, he powers that up and uh, does his thing for a little while. But I was thinking that um, to try to get him a, a small hundred amp or two hundred uh, watt or two hundred watt solar setup, and uh, I was thinking about bringing these batteries. But these things are not for indoors because they off gas so it really wouldn't be, be any good for him so i think they're just going to end up going now i could take that um, sealed lead acid over to him and let him use that with a hundred amp solar or a hundred watt solar panel and uh it's not going to run much but uh you know if he wants to run tv for a little while or uh, power his uh, uh, 
guitar amplifier or anything like that, um, that that would take care of them for a little while. But don't have the wiring to set them up correctly, so we'll just uh, <clears throat> have to wait and see what he wants to do. Anyway, um, I did keep this uh, Bateria um, power charger, uh, charge controller, is still hooked up to this with 100 watts of solar coming into it. Uh, besides being charged by the main system off of the midnight, this one gets a little backup charge from, uh, from that one. So it's showing 13.3 on here. And it's showing 13.3 on here, so apparently they're um, definitely agreeing with each other. That's all that matters, right? And the 14.4 is just that one battery right there, and that's a totally fully charged battery. So I can go in and turn lights on and just let them run. And everything in there is LED lighting in the cabin, so uh, it doesn't use much power. Oh, my God. <sighs> I had to yawn. Uh, anybody else yawn when I did that? <laughs> All right. So, anyway, that's uh, that's what I did today. That's what, all I actually did today. And I'm going to go close up the shipping containers because, I, well, I can't say this is all I did because there is a couple other things I did. Let's let's take us a little walk here because I got to. I gotta put my tool away tools away here. Ow! I hate when that happens. Alright, so we'll get this closed up. It's starting to chill down a little bit. I'll take this over. Alright guys. You had your supper and you had your chews. You can looks like you all need water now, huh? <clears throat> Okay, so let me put this in here so it doesn't get knocked over and spilled all over the ground and then I'll be here cleaning up. Okay, so remember I mentioned that the inverter that I had in here went bad and I had to put my other one in. Well, I found out what happened. When I was showing him, I had grabbed this uh, four-inch grinder and I plugged it in right here, and boom, that's when everything went bad. Well, I found out that just inside of here, the wires um, were broken, and they were shorting out direct. So when I plugged it in there, it was a direct short across the AC power, and that's what shorted out the inverter. So I took this apart today and uh, cut the cord just about took about four inches off and then rewired it all inside the, the proper way now there was also a little area right here where the um, the insulation the casing of the the cord was um, torn open the inside wires weren't hurt but it was torn open so I, while I had it apart I slipped a piece of shrink tube on there and uh, shrunk it down so well, it's back up and running and that's perfect the way it's supposed to run so that's one thing I did the next thing is we head down the highway and then I show you how I do it my way alright so the inverter that had burnt out, I decided to open it up and it was pretty dusty inside, so I cleaned it all out. But uh, apparently there's still something, it went, one of the components in here has gone bad. Because when I turn it on, I just have it hooked up to those batteries right now. Yeah, you can hear the little alarm going off. So something, uh, one of the components in here is bad and shorted, so I'll have to figure out what it is. Now, none of the, um, the fans are running, 
So it could be the fans, I thought. And uh, this is the connection for the fans. I disconnected them. Nope, not the fans. So I'll have to spend more time on it when I have more time and sit down. And I've got a lot of um, electronic boards around. So if it's a, a resistor or a capacitor or anything like that, I'm sure I've got one I can replace it with. I'll just solder it, um, solder a new one in and have the inverter back online again. But, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it because it's really not needed. So, who knows? Who knows? As it is either a modified sine wave, and uh, in the future I'll be getting one that's a 2,000 watt uh, pure sine wave which I will be putting in the van and replacing for, with the modified that's in there. And uh, that'll give me the uh, capability of uh, if I'm out camping or something and I want to run my laptop or anything like that, I don't have to worry about the uh, modified sine wave. Uh, they, they must have a mouse or a squirrel or something underneath the bush. Aren't you going to go help them, Limpy? Go show them how to dig that up? <laughs> well, that's about it, everybody. Going to get uh, go inside and I'm going to have uh, garlic rosemary chicken wings tonight with uh, just some canned vegetables, mixed vegetables. And uh, call that a day. In the meantime... I want to thank you all for joining me, and this is G-Bear, signing off.